Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Do you have what it takes to be an astronaut? Want to take a ride on the Vomit Comet and learn how it feels to be weightless? How about if you try a bite of astronaut food? Not to mention having your measurements taken for your spacesuit. 100 just of your hand alone. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together Astronaut Handbook, written and illustrated by Megan McCarthy, and get ready for liftoff. Bookworms, look at all the different rockets. Someone's taking a spacewalk. Welcome to astronaut school. Soon you will be boarding a space shuttle and blasting into outer space. All different kinds of people have become astronauts. There have been teachers, painters, and even deep sea divers. You can be an astronaut too. First, you need to decide what kind of astronaut you will be. There are astronauts who fly the space shuttles, astronauts who conduct scientific experiments such as growing plants, and astronauts who repair satellites. Becoming an astronaut takes a lot of preparation. It's important to study hard in school. Studying isn't always easy, but stick with it. You will have to pass some tough fitness tests to become an astronaut, so suit up and start swimming. One test is to swim in your flight suit and sneakers. It's also important to be a team player. While in space, you'll be eating, sleeping, and working in very tight quarters with many other people. So be nice to your neighbor and no fighting. Now that you can work well with others, it's time for survival training. This training will help toughen you up and prepare you to live in harsh conditions. After you're both mentally and physically prepared, it's time for the real work to begin. Practice makes perfect. Those of you who have decided to become engineers will practice working with machines, much like the ones you'll use in space. Oh, it looks like they're out in the desert. Those of you who want to be a pilot of the space shuttle will need to learn how to fly. You've done the hard stuff and now it's time to have some fun. A special plane nicknamed the Vomit Comet will take you high in the sky and then zoom back down. As a result, you'll be able to float. It might upset your stomach, but you'll get the hang of it. That looks fun. You'll also need to pick the food you'd like to eat while in space. It's important to have a balanced diet to stay strong during your trip. You can even have desserts such as freeze-dried ice cream. This is what a space toilet looks like. Foothold, a vacuum for solids, a hose for liquids, thigh restraint, thigh restraint, dry wipes, a light, and instructions on how to use it. And here's what your spacesuit will look like. You've got a headlamp, a TV camera, a portable life support system backpack, or PLSS, and it contains oxygen, battery, and water supply. You have flexible metal bearings allowing the arms to rotate. You have a hard upper torso or hut made from fiberglass and steel. That's sort of like a football helmet. You have gloves. You have a lower torso assembly or LTA made from soft insulation, rubber, and Kevlar. And Kevlar is what they use to make bulletproof vest. You have a boot. Then you have, over here, you have a helmet and visor. You have a display and control module. This spacesuit weighs 280 pounds on Earth. And spacesuits have 12 layers. The seven inside layers protect astronauts from extreme temperatures. You will wear this suit while working outside the space shuttle. It's white to reflect the rays of the sun. It will be fitted to your exact measurements. 
over 100 measurements will be taken of your hand alone. I guess you have to sit still for that, right? Finally, it's time to blast off. Put on your orange flight suit, worn for takeoffs and landings, and get ready to board the space shuttle. You will have to sit for as long as three hours before liftoff. So exciting. Get ready for the ride of your life. Three, two, one, blast off. It's best to like small spaces. Looks very tight. Work hard and enjoy your time in space. Bookworms, the author has included fascinating facts, a bibliography, and places to visit in the back of the book. So go to your local library and check it out, or buy a copy for yourself from your favorite bookstore. <laughs>